Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how you can get dark mode on Scratch. Obviously, you're watching the Scratch add-ons YouTube channel, so we're going to show you how to do it using Scratch add-ons. There's other ways. Um, I'll, li I'll leave the links in the description. Obviously, I think Scratch add-ons is the best, uh, for obvious reasons. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. The dark mode is going to affect the website and the editor. So, first thing you want to do is download Scratch add-ons. Scratch add-ons is available for Chrome and Firefox. And every browser based on that. So if you're using like the new edge, stuff like that. Okay, so at scratchaddons.com, you automatically, I'll show you. Scratchaddons.com. At the website, we'll automatically show you the installer. I just want to point out the website makes it look super corporate, but it's it's like a very, it's an open source thing. It's it's not even, yeah, there's no way for it to make money. Okay, then uh, scratchaddons.com, you add to Chrome, add extension adding and you'll you'll see this so the steps are to, sh to show you how to open up the settings but I, I think this is something you might be interested in if you pin it you'll be able to open it faster it's probably something similar in Firefox but otherwise you have to click here and then click there. It, it's it's one other extra click it doesn't really matter so open up scratch add-ons and you'll see your messages because scratch add-ons was a uh, originally a messaging extension but we're gonna just use it for dark mode here so what you'll see is these are the add-ons that are enabled so you'll see alt click green flag developer tools since we're going to be only using dark mode i'm going to disable all of these so i'm just minimize them so they're easier to <laughs> easier to disable bam 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 although actually some of these you might want to keep on it, it's all personal preference and that's the cool part about scratch add-ons it's they're all modular you can you can have one on and another off anyways i'll be installing dark mode so look up dark mode or you can go to editor features code editor and oh no it's probably under themes <laughs> editor themes and then editor dark mode and customize the colors so it's not actually dark mode uh, not actually only dark mode so let me show you a project so here's a project and i've gone here and i've set uh it's using the default one so uh, we can click on three point darker and it will load the preset and obviously that's the same one so you'll see it looks the same and this is the dark mode and this is all customizable so as you can see uh, text shadow on blocks is disabled so if we zoom in onto a block, there's no shadow on the text. So if we enable that, now there's a shadow on the text. It, it uh, For dark mode, it automatically updates, which is pretty cool. Workspace dots, you get these. They're nice if you want to know. I'm not sure why you actually want workspace dots, but whatever, it's an option. You can turn them off or on. So these presets will just load these settings. So I choose three point dark, which is personally my favorite. You'll notice it loads the settings, but maybe I don't like uh, how it doesn't show text shadow. I'll enable text shadow. And now there's a text shadow. Maybe if I want the workspace dots again, now there's a workspace dots. So it's it's pretty cool. You can just enable what you want and disable what you don't want. It's like very customizable, uh, but we have presets to save you some time. Then there's dark editor, which is another preset, which is a like dark editor. Then there's experimental dark, which is like this. Pretty cool. And there's scratches default colors, which is uh, scratches default colors. So then you can customize scratch in light mode then you could you know remove workspace dots you can still have text shadows so it's not even just dark mode you can you can go anywhere like uh menu bar background i actually want my scratch to have a uh, this colored menu bar and now it's like that but if i want to set the highlight color i can do that i can make that um let's do let's do green and now the highlights are all green obviously this is going to look ugly if i continue going like this it's not going to it's not going to be good so now I got my custom theme, and as you can see, Scratch looks incredible. But obviously, you probably want you probably want to use a, one of the pre-made themes. There you go. There's dark mode, but that's only in the editor. Uh, Scratch the entire website can actually be in dark mode. Why is that not a link to the? You can't middle click that. Okay. But obviously, you might want the website to be in dark mode. So obviously, for that, you know, it's Scratch add-ons. We have literally everything. Maybe too many add-ons. We had to. We ta we had that was the notification mod uh, add-on. We had to enable. We had to make a thing where you can sort through them probably too many <laughs> uh, themes scratch website themes and i'll do website dark mode uh this is how the website th there's only one option for the website dark mode it looks all right but you notice the forums and profiles and my stuff pages you know how they look like a different site because of the whole scratch scratch migration thing you can uh enable 2.0 to 3.0 which makes the old pages look like the new pages and it works really really well Comments will look like comments on projects and stuff. Pretty awesome. 
And obviously this is gonna get more options in the future. So that's Scratch Islands has so much more. It this is like just scratching the surface of it. If you if you like want to have a hex color picker in the editor, you can totally have that. Onion skinning. This is this is actually kind of cool. I want to show you this. Uh, reload your editor, and now you have an onion skinning option where you can see the last costume. You can you can see the last costume. Yeah, it's it's onion skinning. Uh, that's how onion skinning works. And there's obviously so many settings. Anyways, that's just you know there's there's a pause button. I I could go on all day about all the stuff Scratch Add-ons has. It has so much stuff. Um, j just some more stuff. Variable manager, in, you know, um, it allows you to manage your variables. You can do that. It, it's magical. <laughs> you want a data category tweaks that will uh, sort your for this sprite only. Wait, you gotta reload. It will separate your for this sprite only and list and everything. Uh, you want uh, mouse pos mouse position. Now your mouse position. You want a clone count. I'm just saying, there are a lot of things you can enable with Scratch add-ons. Obviously, this is just a dark mode tutorial, so I'm only going to show you that. But yeah, uh, so much stuff. Obviously, a link to scratchaddons.com is in the description. Oh yeah, and one more thing. So, Scratch add-ons only works on the Scratch website. If you want dark mode and stuff on a like an offline editor, we're going to recommend... Uh, we're going to recommend Turbo Work... Turbo Warp Dex <laughs> Turbo Warp de Desktop, right? Turbo Warp Desktop, which has uh, their own dark mode. You click there, and it's also got all the Scratch add-ons. Add-ons. It's pretty cool. I think maybe in the future dark mode will be like customizable, like in Scratch. I don't. Maybe already is. Anyways, yeah. There you go. The Scratch add-ons. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.